Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I am going to explain about the first data type called scalars. Scalars are the variables which can hold a single unit of data like string, int, float, etc. Like in Java or in C, we no need to mention the type of data type like int, float, flo long, etc. Depending on the type of data the scalar variable is holding, it is named as a numeric scalar, string scalar, float scalar, etc. To declare a scalar, just use the symbol dollar followed by the variable name. For example, if you want to assign this value tutorials point, just use dollar followed by the variable name. You can also perform arithmetic operations on scalars. The concatenation operator to be used is dot or a comma. A repetition operator can be used to repeat the scalar variable to any number of times which you want. For example, if you want to repeat the value which is there in the variable scalar num for 5 times, you can use the repetition operator called small x. You can also declare vstrings with the help of ASCII numbers. Let me show you how practically. In this program, I am going to create a numeric string scalars and a vstring. Initializing it to a value like 100. A string scalar can be declared in a single quote or a double quote. While creating a V string, always remember that a letter V have to be used followed by the ASCII codes separated by a dot. Now I want to print all the strings in a single line separated by a character like hyphen. For this I am going to use the concatenation operator dot. There is also a useful operator called repetition operator which is used for printing any type kind of string for any number of times. For example, I want to print equal to symbol for 10 times. After this I want to use a concatenation operator comma. Now let us test it. This is the number scalar followed by the string scalar and this is the v string. This is the string which we have printed using the repetition operator. In the next video, I am going to explain about the arrays and its operations. Thank you.